Hello, and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, what are we doing today? Honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I was thinking we might do the Tomb of the Eaters. And uh, since I have reprogrammable uh, recoilers, I might just like go to the very end and then um, program a, a recoiler right right at the end of the uh, the tomb. Um, we're like well and above prepared for something like the tomb, so it'll feel like a cakewalk. I'm I'm sure. I hope I don't eat that word. Uh, th well, I guess if I was gonna eat a word. Um, cakewalk wouldn't be such a bad one. So anyway, we're going to go to Ezra. Someone uh, did tell me, by the way, the reason that the jacked recoilers have not been working for me is because I'm not holding them when I use them. Which makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. It, why would it, uh, you know, <laughs> why would it uh, be powered by my body if, um, what is happening here? If, if uh, you know, it's not attached to my body in any way. There's some interesting things going on right now. I hope the game has not crashed. Okay, now we're good. So, um, we are we are going... To, well, you know, let's talk to... I guess we'll talk to Six Year. I think I already talked to him in the last episode. It's been a couple days since I played. Okay, no no crystal long swords. That's the important part. We have spacer pistols. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that those... Uh, don't burn through my discharge, my, like my electrical discharge too quickly. Because if they do, then they might not work out as weapons. But they have really nice pen, and, uh, you know, they're probably, they're probably going to work out for us. So, um, we do have a couple of achievements associated with the Tomb of the Eaters that I have not done. Um, which is to do, there's a side quest to hand in the repulsive device to four different creatures. Um, enter the tomb of the, the buried watchers, visit the Mapango. Uh, this is a quest I kind of avoided. I didn't recover the amaranthine prism. I don't think I have the means to do that, or at least I don't think I can do that. Gates are sealed for eternity. Okay, are those not the correct gates? I definitely gave myself the mark of death. So is it this one? Huh. What? Wait, what? Inscribe the mark. Enter the Tomb of the Eaters. Why is that not working? Do I have to talk to them? Sealed for eternity? What? Excuse me? What? I I have the mark of death on me. Do I not? Um... Hmm... Um... Hold on, hold on a second. Do I... Do I not have the mark of death on me? It's you. We are inspired. Well, that's nice. I thought I marked... Oh, am I not... I don't seem to be tattooed anymore. What happened there? Uh, all right, let's tattoo ourselves again. I think I remember... Well, we can we can always look at it again. I'm pretty sure it's... Um, asterisk, right bracket... It's like, I think it's at symbol, asterisk, right bracket, right bracket. Could be wrong. Hold on a second. I don't know what happened there. Did I, like, not save or something? Yeah. Asterisk, right bracket, at, at. Okay. I was close. I was pretty close, actually. Tools. Yeah, I'm no, no longer marked for some reason. Um, tattoo. I, I guess this is just as well. I don't think I want to be um, red like I had assigned the last time. So, um, asterisk, right bracket... Where is right bracket? At, at, right bracket, asterisk. And um, I guess I, I like to be magenta. The reason being is we'll be magenta and blue because it, it's hard to confuse that with anything else on the on the field. Okay, so that, that looks pretty good. And we have the mark of death on us again. 
Uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, there must have been some kind of bug there or something. I don't know. I thought that I had saved the game last time. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. The gate swing open. Okay, Tomb of the Eaters. Solid. All right, well, um, one of the reasons I want to go here, by the way, is to collect some bone meal. This is the best place to collect bone meal. Um, this is going to be a multi-episode thing that I have to do. Because I want to basically clear out the Tomb of the Eaters completely. You have to kind of do that in order to um, complete the side quest. And not, you don't really have to, but you do have to fully explore the zone anyway. Hey, has this place gotten kind of an upgrade? I don't remember all of this extra stuff here. This is a ruined mur mural. This uh, this seems new. I feel like this place has gotten kind of a an, an extra coat of paint. If I'm being, uh, I, I don't know if I'm correct on that one. Now, if I collect bones, do bones? Uh, can I get? I can't remember. Is it crushed bones? There's like unfortunately a specific kind of bone, which um, you can use to get uh, your your extra AV. We have an extra psychic presence, and we're already being engulfed by a death uh, daca. Not sure what the deal is with that, but I guess uh, we're kind of, we're, we're technically in the banana grove. So it might be that, that's why. Um, so look at that, that's some really nice damage. Oh, the thing is, is they do take a turn. They take an extra turn to, um, to charge. And so that's, that's the only kind of down uh, grade of the spacer pistol. But they do some really nice damage, so I can't really be mad. This has been quite the quite the series, you know, like... And we're only like one quarter of the way through this, because I'm gonna have to do Tomb of the Eaters basically twice. Now, is this the stuff that gives me compacted bone? This lad here is going to melt me through the floor if I'm not careful. The bell of rest tolls. The dead will be recalled in 280 turns. Now, I can't remember exactly... I don't remember exactly how the, the, the crushed bone stuff works, but there's a specific kind of bone matter that I can turn into bone meal. We get, we only get 70 experience from those guys. Something just shot, oh, there's a, there's an elder beard. Uh, cult of the briny air of frogs. What are you doing here? I really hope I don't have to deal with frogs down here. Stairwell teleporter, okay. I'm gonna have to remind myself, you know, I haven't been to the Tomb of the Eaters all that often. I've been here a couple of times. Not that many. So we've got um, these fellows. They poison us and uh, the poison will do a little bit of damage. Fortunately though, I've taken a poison resist so you know we don't shouldn't have to deal with the, the, the problems with that necessarily. It, it, it shouldn't hurt us that much. And, uh, you know, this is going pretty predictably well. Oh, that was a, uh, grave robber. Grave robbers can tend to have some good stuff. Also, I was thinking, I have the cloning matter. Um, I might... Uh, I'm tempted to use that on the, our, um... <sighs> legendary Icker Merchant. Because I would really like to, uh, I'd really have a, you know, a, a consistent way of getting, um, the business, you know, the, 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 the Neutron Flux. Neutron Flux is, like, really important for us, so I, I'd really like to get more of that. Um, okay. Oh, are we, we're dazed and stunned. Okay, so that Mopango just got melted through the floor. Uh, I hope they're okay downstairs
some lava on the field. There's a lava weep, which is nice. I mean, I say it's nice. It's it's fine. It doesn't really do anything for us. So we're um, tomb tethered. We gotta wait for like 60 turns. Not gonna worry too much about uh, you know getting getting the uh, tomb of the eaters like exactly right. Also, why do we only have 20 AV? Right, because I think it's because I took off the... We have Briny Mirror Red Boon. And this gives us extra willpower and quite a bit of resistance. I'm not sure if it's any more or less resistance than just having a Flawless Crystal uh, Shard Mail. There is our, our friend, the uh, turret. Do they have... They, they're purple. Vivira. Can we chat with them? Complete quest step. There we go. Why are you offering me sympathies? What is here? You're much nicer than most turrets I've met. So I am told. I've never had the pleasure of, di or nor displeasure to meet another turret. All right, so we're gonna go and talk to the Mopango. What is that? Is that just a, okay, it's a wounded uh, greater voider. <laughs> Some nice stuff here. Um. Leba, the little watcher stares at you. Hello, I am Uk Amir. What is your name, Leba? Um, I don't think I'm not supposed to ask them their credo, but I'm going to. Oh wait, um, sorry. I guess I can ask them their credo, but I don't know. I'm not supposed to ask them what the, what it means. Try. I have to find out um, the next part of the quest here. Let me see. Did I not get the quest? Hmm, hold on a second. I feel like I did not get a certain quest. How come I don't have it? There's some really funky things happening right now that I don't understand. Um, but it seems to me... Maybe I already completed the quest to visit the Mopango. That was, maybe that was the quest. And now I have to um, talk to them to get their quest, which is different. I'm going to go with that assumption. I encountered a people, the Slints, seeking a new home. Well, I definitely don't have enough reputation with the Mopango to have them have the Slint. Um, what kind of reputation do you have? Loved by Mopango, disliked by the Consortium of Fida. Well, that kind of sucks, but I think I can stand to lose a little bit of Consortium Fida rep. You have Bone Baka. Babka. Oh, I, I love Babka. Babka is, is great. Polish, Polish kind of uh, flavored bread, almost. Um, I'm not going to have you join me. I'm going to get your quest. Uh, are you in charge here? No one leadeth us. We, Mopango, hold little regard for hierarchy, and our shared decisions are made through discuss discussion. Quiet consideration and consensus. It's a cozy tomb you have, or <laughs> cozy home you have here. Settlement is cozy. What do you know about the tomb? Um, okay, so, and thou seeketh a fortune here. Grid, gird thyself for disappointment. The tomb playeth host to objects wondrous and profane alike. But little of what surface dwellers considered treasure. I admire thy curiosity and hope thy prudence informeth it. I have an example at hand. Mere days ago, one of our coterie named Laba happened upon a repulsive device. A was so shaken after attempting communion with the object that A hath spent less time away from Air Nook than ever. Where may I find Leba? Uh, our little sanctuary here with a fissure in its inner walls. Find that gap and thou wilt find Leba. Please be gentle. A hath ever been the most insightful reader among us, but beareth the weight of an anxious mind. Did I not just, like, encounter Leba? She didn't die just now, did she? Oh, there's Leba. She wounded? No. Why is she yellow right now? Also, why are we fighting? Uh, there's Leba. Uh, Argra... Ag... Ag... Agira? tells me that you found some kind of repulsive device. 
A most repulsive device. The, the mind echoes of that communion yet haunteth me. What was so bad about the device? Not the device. Repulsive as a key to a prison doth repulse. To know a key is to know of a per prison. Our watched children are bound, and lock, it, lock swalloweth key. And thou freest one, three remaineth forever. K gone and on hath it now, and thou seeketh. Um, K gone and on opens the door. You have finished the step, take a talk to Laba. Okay, so now we actually have the quest. We seek. K gone and on, and the folk catacombs, and recover the. Okay, so we are in, I believe, the folk catacombs. If it's not here, it might be below us. So we have 160 turns before we get um, shuffled. Change places. What is this Ferdin doing here? Hatchling. Uh, laser beam streaks past from the northwest. That's not it, is it? It's... Wow. I can't believe... This is the... I have, I have never had such an easy time finding K. Gananon. Did they just shoot me with a beam? Yo, does this... Does this Slimo have, like, beam technology? Oh. Uh, that's a bit worrying. All right, let's, uh... Temporal Fugue. We might take a bit of damage here. I'm pretty sure there's no actual way to get out of K. Gonanon unless you have Teleport. They are they are taking some pretty severe damage, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to kill them before uh, they kill me, and I am. And we gained a bit of Denizens of the Eid Freehold mer uh, rep. We're good with merchants again. So look at all this stuff. Um, this slimy scaled Nolworm skull is actually not a bad, n not a bad get at all. Um, getting a second quantum moat is kind of cool. Um, let's check what this is. Light rail. Why did we not know what the light rail was? Oh, this is the uh, this is the rifle equivalent. Um, I'll go ahead and treat that as scrap and disassemble it. Magnetic core. Now, as I understand it, the magnetic core lets you have another floating spot. Yes. So there's some interesting things. I've been I've been uh, semi spoiling some things for me on on uh, the wiki. I'm not going to spoil anything like story based for you right now, so don't don't worry about that. Um, but uh, so there is a. There is like a device or a um, object, I guess, which takes up three floating points. I can't remember what creature has it, but um, apparently you can also wear it because you, uh, you know, unless you don't know, at a certain point you are able to get a second floating point. What is this extra recoiler we got? We got the repulsive device. That's cool. So, um, yeah, so you're, you're able to, like, if you're a true kin specifically. If you're a mutant, unfortunately, you're not able to get this device, but I can't remember what it does. It does something important. Not even important, just, like, very powerful. Oh, is that one of the creatures that I can give it to? Ka. Born on a half dozen delicate writhing tendrils, it runs. The sleek suggestion of an intermittent, uh, intermittent terrestrial creature flows with shocking ag agility through the intervening space. Its features glistering in the light like erosion sculpted glass. It knows not what it runs from or to. It is unable to ask where or why it runs, and yet it runs still. Um, so we have the repulsive device, and it is, um, it is a key to freeing one of the four um, semi-holographic, I say semi-holographic, but they're, you know, it's kind of a, like a lot of things in could um, in question, but uh, basically uh, there's four creatures in the tomb. They're all pretty 
weird and um, scary, honestly, in a way. They're all pretty terrifying. And they are all bound to the tomb, I think, in a, in a way. Listen, I'm, I'm never quite sure um, how to interpret K uh, Cud story but you know like it's it's they're 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 stuck here they're in a prison somehow i'm not even sure how who put them there what you know what what are they where did they come from where did they go where they come from cotton eye joe i don't know um but we have the repulsive device and that is a key to uh unlocking them freeing them from their prison but if we free one of them the other three of them are trapped forever so um, something we are going to have to do is make a decision on which one of them is worth giving the repulsive device to. Uh, I don't even, like, I don't think you have to fight them or anything after you're done. Why is there a mad pole here? I'm really not happy about the fact that there's a trinning lamp right here. Um, I'm not going to go over there. Honestly, we're, we're good. Uh, I just got tombed. So, uh, you know, I wanted to, I want to, um, you know, go up the tomb, you know, treat this as a, as a normal playthrough almost and, and, uh, get to the top of, of the tomb of the eaters. I even want to, um, f like, I'm going to have to fight some cherubs at the top which I'm kind of looking forward to. It'll be a good benchmark to, of, of like how um, how powerful are we? Because the cherubs are like some of the strongest enemies in the game. Um, so it'll be good to know like how hard do we hit. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of what we're doing. But also I'm, I'm going to, ex you know, try and find the other three creatures and uh, try and make a decision on who to give the repulsive device to. Shrine to... Re wow, this is our first bit of Reshef lore in a long time. I think it's funny that these... Uh, what are they? Gelatinous cupolas? Cupolas? Are um, trivial to us. We actually ignore them due to my settings. Uh, well, that sucks. Barathra, my their buddy, there uh, just walked inside my plasma, and now they've trapped me in a force field. And unfortunately, that means we're probably gonna get tombed. <sighs> yeah, because the other one did it too. Well, that sucks, because the stairs are right there. <laughs> oh well, we're now back where we came from, um, back in to the uh, Mapengo town. Oh, have a Gibbon. Gibbon is not uh, angry with us, so that's kind of nice. This is back in this banana grove, so we're not, uh, we're at the, I guess we're in the top left corner of the tomb right now. You do have to kind of like keep in mind um, the like, Geography, not the geography. I guess you, you like. I, I like to kind of semi map out in my brain where I am. The Tomb of the Eaters is um, a unique dungeon in that it uh, is a full parasang. It's a full parasang, which means it's actually three by three tiles of dungeon, pure dungeony goodness. And <laughs> um, you know, so you can easily get lost here, and that that is exasper exacerbated by the fact that um you can you'll get teleported randomly well not randomly it l gives you like full warning when you're gonna get teleported but it will teleport you to a random part of the uh the dungeon uh given a certain amount of time so you have to get you have to find yourself um a, a safe location to rest and we were we were not recalled kind of want to um get ourselves some more uh, uh, you know, preserve some food. I should, um, I should pick up some of these bones. I wonder if these are the bones that we can preserve. Can we preserve this stuff? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we can preserve some cycle gland paste. That's good. 
Um, choose to. We're gonna. I'm gonna continue our my my sad attempt to make the uh, antifungal cream, basically. Star apple jam and vine water sheaf. Uh, whenever you drink fresh water, none of these are what we want. 25% chance you heal. Uh, well, yeah, those aren't, those were not what we wanted. That's kind of a shame, but that's fine. You know, I don't expect to, to get it. It's a, it's a pretty rare recipe. It's not even that rare. And why are we like, see, this is why I have to consider, um, turning off ignore trivial is because we just, Start. We were just ignoring mad poles. Like that's absurd. Don't be ignoring mad poles. Okay. So oh, there. All right. So there's our um. There's our staircase. We can get there from here. Uh, we have sixty rounds left. So let's just wait sixty rounds. Also, what is that up there? Is that a reef? Reef hermit. They have a they have a high voltage. They have a high voltage arc winder. They have a high voltage arc winder. And a quartz fur hat. Uh, did we take the high volt? You take the high voltage arc winder. We, we have it. We have the last weapon that I'm going to need, basically. I wonder if it counts as a pistol. Like, I'm pretty sure it does, right? 64. Does count as a pistol. Amazing. Um, I'm pretty sure it does, it requires, it has some pretty, pretty high requirements for energy use, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna stay for the with the state uh, space pistols for now the spacer pistols, but um, like hey, we're good Might end up using my polymorphic um, Metamorphic polygel on the on the on on that like which is kind of sad and sick cuz like you know we just used polymorphic on uh, on you know on some other business we have a Dromad caravan here. There's a good chance that this will be a good Dromad. Um, no, it's actually awful. Wow. Wow. But yeah, uh, I just used the, the metamorphic polygel on the spacer pistols. And now I'm talking about like, oh yeah, we're going to have to use the next, you know, another one on the next one. It's just, uh, you know, like I didn't, I didn't plan it to, to go like that, but okay. Who is, oh, okay. So all of these things are, we get 65 XP from these guys. Which isn't nothing, but it's kind of, oh, no, I don't, I don't want to, uh, Jump down the, the, there. Okay. So I want to cook, and I'm going to continue to cook. Wait, grave moss. Um, we're, we're gonna continue to try and cook our uh, our business. I should uh, try this crushed grave moss. I don't think I've ever messed around with that. Um, star apple jam and vine water sheaf. Vine wafer sheaf, I should say. Uh, whenever you drink fresh water, there, nope, nope, none of these. Dang. Well, it's fine. Like, every time we make a recipe, we're actually working on a new achievement. So this is one of those occasions where you really got to be on your business. You got to be like every single turn, you got to be thinking. So there's some interesting stuff there. Uh, the fans are keeping us from play getting that box there, but I'm, I'm interested. Recognize your, your maintenance. We can uh, turn off these fans. I'm going to have to um, 
turn off both of these. But we can turn off the fans and then break through here. I'm interested to see what's in this box here. What is this? Emergency services security card. Well, uh, it was it's a lot more boring than I thought it was going to be. We are going to take a little bit of damage in this uh, zone, but it's fine. The, the worst thing that can happen to us is we get crushed. Uh, that does... Oh. I actually died. I can't believe it. Yo, I can't believe I walked in front of a fan and into a chute. We actually made huge strides there. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Where's our last checkpoint? I wonder if the Mapango site counts as is no no it doesn't uh oh, damn it oh all right well we may as well end the episode there unfortunately i'm i'm really sorry i did such a stupid thing there um but i'm hoping that the site is the same like it's not going to regenerate we'll know if there's yeah okay so it's exactly the same I could um, take and like do do this in my uh, like between episodes. What is that? Did I get that last time? That doesn't fill me with confidence. I don't think that was there last time, which might mean that the Tomb of the Eaters has generated a new. Um, it would be similar-ish in nature to how we just encountered it, but not by much. But uh, at the very least, what I'll do between uh, this and the next episode is I'll do all of the, the, you know, talking to the Mapango and figuring that stuff out so I don't have to, I don't bore you with that stuff. But uh, yeah, that really sucks. I, I, I do apologize for that. Yeah, we definitely have some minor differences here and there, which sucks because that means uh, that we might not have as easy of a time um, getting, getting, okay, gone and on. That was, like, the easiest I've ever had in finding, um, okay, gone and on. Well, I guess this is already pretty interesting, so I might not want to, like, ignore this whole business. Why are we fighting each other? Don't, don't fight each other. Looks like Ka is, like, mad and is fighting people. Okay, let me do let me do this real quick. Wonders and profane, lay ba, accept the quest. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to talk to the turret also. There's lay ba. I just need to talk to them before they die. <laughs> no, that's Argya. I want to talk to lay ba. I want to talk to lay ba. Uh, um, repulsive device. Complete the quest. Okay, so we know about K gone and on. That's the important part. Uh, Ka is really mad. So we might have to... We might have to put an end to, to Ka, un unfortunately. Because they're killing Mopango. And I, I don't think I can abide by that. So this is the episode where we, ki well, we killed Ka. Bizarre carnage, that's fun. I wonder if that counts as interdimensional. Do we have butchering turned off? We could eat it. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't necessarily want to. Anyway, um where are we angry? Oh, we're apparently angered. Refu okay, well let's well, let's walk away. And uh, pass some time so that they're not angry with us. This is a really a bummer because like we had a really good generation last time, and now it's it's not nearly as good. Uh, apparently, the Mapango hate me. Not sure why. Not sure what I did. I was pretty careful not to. Did I like accidentally hit one of them? Oh my god. 
now we're now we're in it. Take a mag hammer. I don't really want a mag hammer. Yeah, this is a very different generation. There's the stairs though. There's a stairs. Thought maybe that I saw something purple over there for a second. At least the uh, the Mapango over here are not mad at me. Tell you one thing, we are gonna rob the tomb blind. There's you know, I, I am strong enough, I feel pretty confident in fighting everything in it. The only way we could die is by stupidly jumping down a, a chute. That would be really, really stupid, wouldn't it? Well, to be fair, I didn't jump down a chute. I, I walked in front of a fan. What is that? Oh, an interdimensional Vantabloom and Esper Stalker. So that would be uh, our first interdimensional stalker locked in psychic battle. The Flat Sickle. You critically hit the compacted bone. Where did the Vantabloom go? I want to get tomb tethered before it's too late. There's K Gananon. Please make it yes. And we're no longer angry with the Mapengo. Okay, let's end it there. K Gananon is at least in this uh, tile, so that that makes things easier for me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button. And if you are new to my content, consider subscribing. And take it easy. Have a good one. Da -da -da.